Hi, my name is Peace and in this video I will be sharing small business ideas for students. If you are interested in all that good stuff, keep on watching this video. Starting your business in school as a student is very important. I cannot overemphasize this. When you start your business, it gives you a, a ground. You become more established when you're done with school. When you start your business in school, you have more grounds. You can make mistakes in school. And when you're done with school, you would have been established and you understand the rudiment of the business better and you can do business better in society because you've learned the things you're supposed to learn and you learned them hell. One of the mistakes I made as a student was not starting my business on time, was not starting my business as a student. I do not want you to make that type of a mistake. So I'll be sharing with you guys three business ideas that you can start as a student. And these three business ideas are small business ideas that you don't have to break the bank to start. This business will not affect your studies and this business will leave much more money in your account than your allowance. Any student who is interested in starting a business, interested in earning money, basically in school you can do this business they are cost effective they are budget friendly so you can start these three small business ideas i'll be sharing with you guys the first on my list is thrift business thrift business this is one of the most profitable business i know and i'm not capping this is one of the most profitable business i know people that i knew, that i knew back then in school that started this business even, even if some of them had stopped, they made a lot of money from thrift. Students love clothes. We know everybody loves them, but students love clothes the more. And thrift is a business that is not going out of trend anytime soon. And the cheaper the clothes, the better for them. They're trying to save costs, they're trying to save for food, books. This business is a business that a a business-minded student should invest invest in is not going out of trend anytime soon and there are online um, stores that you can get thrift from there are people who are willing to teach other people how to do thrift business because the market is going wider by the day and I think if you're interested in starting a small business in school you should invest in thrift Two small business ideas for students would be makeup by makeup now, I'm going to divide it into two. By makeup, I mean first makeup artistry and two makeup product. So the first one is the actual makeup itself, like doing makeup on someone. And the second one is selling makeup products. So I merged these two businesses together. A um, student likes to do photo shoots. That is it. They are going for fellowship. They like to do makeup and snap. If there's a program in church, they would like to do makeup and snap. Once they are doing graduation, oh god, makeup artists are booked. booked. So they like to do photo shoots for birthdays and they will like makeup. Makeup business in school is one of the most profitable business that I know for students. I cannot overemphasize this. Makeup business, makeup artistry is very profitable, profitable especially for students. Students like to do makeup, they like to do photo shoots for their birthdays. For every occasion, they have money for that. Let me put it that way. They will always have money. Some, some people literally save for that kind of occasion just to do makeup so if you are in this business i don't see you running out of money in school i don't see you running out of money and the good thing about this is that you can learn makeup without paying a dime what is youtube for youtube will teach you there are a lot of makeup tutorials online and i know self-taught makeup artists that are doing so well so you have to take your time dedicate and learn makeup artistry and the good thing about it also is that it's not it will not only end in school once you learn makeup you're taking it further into the society so it's a good thing is a good business that you can actually invest in and the other part of this business i said is what makeup and um, selling of makeup products so i did a video about um how to buy and sell makeup products i'm going to link that video 
up on in the description box anyone so and i broke it down where you can buy makeup products and resell them at the higher I hear it. So as a makeup artist, I, your students are more likely to believe you that you sell original makeup products and they will be able to get them from you. So you are joining two business in one as a makeup artist, you are also uh, buying and reselling affordable and original makeup products. Very good business idea and I think any business minded student should invest in this makeup business it will not go out of trend anytime soon and you can also increase your knowledge once you're done from school you can go for your, your master class and the third and the last business small business idea for students on my list is pos yeah i know some of you are rolling your eyes right now pos pos point of sale you can own a terminal you can get registered to own a terminal it is even getting cheaper by the day to own a pos terminal very cheaper i know pos like money points you can get it for as low as fifteen thousand naira. you register with an aggregator and you get your terminal and their charges are very small now have you seen the queue on campuses bank like when you go to a bank that is on campus if you see the queue there's something else and people would not like to stay on that type of queue students do not like to stay on that type of queue you're late for class you're trying to get money you now stay on the queue to withdraw money that's ridiculous so i think more people i know some people say that before as business have cast yes have cast i know but your peer as a student your pos will be within reach for other students so imagine you're taking your pos to class there's a POS in my class. I'm not going outside to go and withdraw money. As easy as that. Withdrawing from you, I know you. If anything happens, I can get my money from you. So there's, I think people are more likely to believe their classmates who is an, who is a POS agent than any other random person on the road that runs a POS business. If you're in the hostel, good, very good for you. Nobody wants to go, to go outside to go and find POS agents when there is one within their hostel so in class you're making more money and with this type of pos business you're making money daily daily with your charges you're saving money you're keeping money so as a student you're not running dry you're not running out of money that is the last and final business i'll be recommending the first thing i said was um thrift business nice business not going out of trend anytime soon the other one was makeup make by makeup i said makeup artistry and selling of makeup products and the third one i said was pos with that we've come to the end of this video i hope it was helpful these businesses are feasible you can try them leave a comment in the comment section down if there's any other business idea that you have leave it in the comment section let other people learn from this from your thoughts on this video until next time i'll see you in my next video bye